Hi everyone, uh, I'm Ashley Abruzzo. Welcome to another installment of Five Minutes with Germana. Um, today we're going to talk about Germana and the Civil War. Uh, before we talk about that, I want to give you a little bit of background on where exactly Germana is located. So we're in Orange County. We're halfway between Culpeper to the west and Fredericksburg to the east. And of course, living in central Virginia, we are surrounded by several battlefields. In fact, we have two battlefields over in Culpeper County and four battlefields in Orange and Spotsylvania County, respectively. And Germana itself is not immune to the Civil War, um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, but when you get to the visitor center here at Germana, one of the things you'll actually see when you first arrive are these Civil War trail signs. And the Civil War trail signs are to help you get acclimated to the history of a particular site. And so once you park your car, come and read the signs, you'll make your way down to the river and you can kind of see the area in which the Germana Ford is located. And that's where we're going to go to next. Right now you're looking at the Rapidan River. We're looking east-northeast uh, through the bridge, which is present day uh, Highway 3 connecting Culpeper and Orange Counties. And just through underneath the bridge, you have the remnants of Germana Ford. It was on the evening of May 3rd of 1864, the Army Potomac uh, left its encampment at Hansboro Ridge in Culpeper County um, and arrived at this location by 4 a.m. where they would have crossed on two 220-foot bridges to cross the Rapidan. Uh, within two hours, they were able to complete the bridges that were created. Troops crossed the river, and that evening, General Ulysses S. Grant and some 50,000 troops uh, will cross the uh, Rapidan River, and the beginning of the Overland Campaign started, uh, which was a series of battles that took place in Virginia in May of 64 and June of 64. So one really neat feature that we have here in the Zegan Forest is the remains of a bridge abutment. This is actually the remains of an abutment that was built in 1917 to replace a bridge that was built in 1848 and was burned during the Civil War. So I want to thank you all for joining us again for another 5 Minutes with Germana. We hope that you're staying safe and healthy. We miss having you come see us. We hope to have you see us again soon. And stay tuned for the next installment next Thursday.